Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest for 11 count substrings that satisfies K constraints 1. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this is not the same as Q4 or like the core idea, but I, um, you know, with an easy problem, but also just in general, make sure that you solve the problem given the constraint. And the constraint is N is 50. And also K therefore is less than 50. So just do as brute force as you can. And that's basically what I did. It's just that I did for every start, for every N, um, I count. And then if they're, you know, count number of ones, you can, and this is N square, right? You can actually even do it with n cube, which is for start for n, and then just do for loops inside as well and count. Um, easy to do. M make sure you just get it right. Make sure you just get it quick, and you know doesn't really matter. Um, that said, there is a sliding window solution to this that may help you in Q4, but I actually didn't even do it this way. Uh, for the Q4, I actually did it with binary search. Um, at least with the same idea of, you know, you can think about this problem as Q4 with one query, right? So I did it with binary search, which you can check that out. But uh, yeah, um, the idea with binary search is the same as sliding window is that for each digit, each, each starting digit, you can only go, you know, it's monotonic and increasing how far you can go. So you just binary search it with a prefix sum. Uh, if that means too much to you, uh, check out that video for Q4. But for this one, like I said, um, N is equal to 50. Don't over uh, don't prematurely optimize don't overly optimize don't unnecessarily optimize solve the problem you're given not the problem that you think you're given and yeah uh, so this is why my code is n squared just easy to write uh, I did spend a long time on it honestly though because I misread the or part or the either part uh, I thought it was an n and I was just very confused and debugging for a little while uh, and then also the second thing is that I think I just woke up so I had uh I, I, w I was not comparing it with the, the string zero, instead of comparing the number zero, which is a new mistake, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Okay, yeah. Uh, how many double problems? Only one double problem. We'll have to go back to it. Okay. Number of zero in the string. Oh, it's K. So, okay, with K is equal to one. Oh, every, except for these. That's a very weird thing, but okay, fine. Um, let's just write it in the dumb way. I know that this is a, a thing, but... Um, Five. Hmm. Number of zeros in the string is at most k. Huh. I misunderstood this problem. How am I so slow in this one? What is going on? 13? Oh, either, not both. Okay, man. I definitely misread this one clearly. Okay, now we're undercounting. I mean, now we're overcounting, but uh, why? 15? Because basically I'm doing all of them. If zeros is... <sighs> why am I reading? I have some re trouble with reading. Zero is at most K. Number of ones in the string is at most K. Hmm. 
Why is this not right? One zero one is not right, right? Well, one zero one zero. So So we're not putting anything, so why? <sighs> Man, I am bombing hard. Is it a string? Am I being dumb? Uh, okay. I, I just woke up, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that was silly. I just woke up and I, I'm a little bit... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, my explanation, this video, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.